Have you ever wondered about the true cost of convenience? It's a question that might seem out of place in our fast-paced world, but let's take a moment to consider it. We live in an era of convenience, a time where everything we need is often just a click away. And at the heart of this convenience lies a material we've all become overly familiar with. Plastic. From our morning coffee cup to our evening takeaway, plastic is an ever-present part of our daily lives. Its durability, versatility and cost-effectiveness have made it a cornerstone of modern society. But as we revel in the ease plastic provides, where does it all go when we're done with it? Every year, an alarming amount of plastic ends up in our oceans, turning them into a silent graveyard for marine life. This is the silent crisis we're facing. As we enjoy the conveniences of plastic, our oceans silently pay the price. In the depths of our vast oceans, an unseen predator lurks. This adversary doesn't swim or breathe, but it's deadly nonetheless. It's our discarded plastic. The effects of this intruder on marine life are devastating. Seemingly harmless items like grocery bags and water bottles become lethal traps for marine creatures. The ingestion of plastic can cause fatal blockages in their digestive systems, while entanglement can lead to suffocation or severe injury. But the danger doesn't stop there. Plastics also introduce harmful toxins into the marine food chain. When fish ingest these toxins, they pass them up the food chain all the way to our dinner plates. It's estimated that over 1 million seabirds and 100,000 marine mammals die each year due to plastic pollution. The scale of this issue is staggering, and it's one we've created. Our convenience has become a silent killer in the deep. But the damage does not stop at the ocean's surface. Like a stone thrown into a pond, the ripple effect of plastic pollution extends far beyond the ocean's depths. It's an intricate domino effect starting with the degradation of marine habitats. As plastic debris accumulates, it alters these environments, disrupting the delicate balance of marine life. This isn't just a problem for the creatures beneath the waves, it's a human problem too. Consider the impact on tourism, an industry that relies heavily on clean, pristine beaches and crystal clear waters. As plastic pollution takes over, the allure of these destinations diminishes, dealing a significant blow to economies worldwide. And let's not forget the potential health risks to us humans. Microplastics, tiny particles of plastics have been found in the food we eat, the water we drink, even in the air we breathe. The long-term effects? Still largely unknown, but the prognosis isn't promising. We are all hitched to everything else in the universe, and when the oceans suffer, we suffer. But despair not, for every problem bears within it the seeds of its solution. As we delve into the depths of our plastic predicament, we also uncover the seeds of hope and innovation. Across the globe, we see inspiring clean-up initiatives, from local beach cleanups to the Ocean Cleanup Project, a non-profit engineering environmental organization that develops technology to extract plastic pollution from the oceans. But it's not just about the cleanup, it's about prevention too. Innovative minds are working tirelessly to engineer biodegradable alternatives to plastic, while others are developing ways to recycle plastic more efficiently. These initiatives are more than just a drop in the ocean. They are effective, scalable, and hold the potential to turn the tide on plastic pollution. Their implementation on a global scale could drastically reduce the plastic entering our oceans. In the face of adversity, humanity's ingenuity knows no bounds, and it's this very ingenuity that will help us win the fight against plastic pollution. The power to change the future of our oceans is in our hands. We hold the keys to reversing the tide of plastic pollution. It begins with individual choices we make every day. Look around you. How much single-use plastic do you see? Those plastic bags, water bottles, straws... They don't just disappear when we're done with them. They end up in our oceans, harming the beautiful creatures that call it home. What if we made different choices? Opt for a reusable water bottle instead of a disposable one? Say no to plastic bags and choose cloth bags? Swap plastic straws for metal or bamboo alternatives? These small changes can make a world of difference. We must remember, every piece of plastic we refuse is one less in our oceans. It's not about perfection, it's about making better choices, gradually and consistently. The choice is yours. Will you be part of the problem or the solution?